I immediately felt it was a great fit. There was people who would look out for me even though I only met them uh, for about six hours. And this essentially made me feel like I was welcome there and it was an environment that I could actually thrive in. I also was able to meet a lot of my teachers that I would have for the next couple of years. Um, and they showed me that, hey, regardless of the ability you're at now, we can take you to the place you need to be. Um, and that's all that really matters at the end of the day. I remember with Mr. Hunt um, in my grade seven year, uh, he would take me outside of school for an hour on Tuesdays um, and we would work on extra problems and it took me from a student who was averaging 70s to a student who was averaging 90s. Um, just in that little time and that little effort he was able to give to me just set me on the course to, to for the rest of my academic career. The small community also does allow you to sort of build such great relationships with people that you are allowed to express your personality, yeah, your great. identity, um, and they're very accommodating regardless of who you are and it's fantastic. One of the reasons we chose the motto, uh, be yourself, be anything, is at the core, that's what we really want students to, to think about, right? They come in at whatever age, they already have um, natural curiosity, they are who they are to that point in their life, and what we really want to be able to help them do is grow to the next level, right? And take something that might be an interest, make it a passion. There's an underbelly to our school that happens that parents probably don't see the teacher meetings, the fact that we do learner profiles at the end of the year where every teacher must provide the teacher, the next teacher up. We even do this for kids going into grade nine, the high school, a summary of that child. I think coming into the school, I, I very much disliked the mathematics. I, I, I didn't value them and, and I didn't really even feel I was good enough to even try them in high school. Um, but that experience I did have in grade seven with my math teacher, Mr. Hunt, I sort of opened up that avenue to say, hey, this is an option for me, right? It's something that I, had, I believe the door was already closed to and he kind of flung it wide, wide open for me. And that's something like I, I, val I value very much because now it has brought me down this path that I never thought I would have been on. And, and I think I can safely say that if I didn't go to Hudson, I wouldn't have had that door open for me. And it would have been something that I probably would have lost, something that's valuable to me that I would have lost uh, and never experienced. A lot of times in certain places, students jump in right away and there's gaps in knowledge. So what we do when a student enters Hudson is we assess these gaps in knowledge, we fill in those gaps in knowledge, and then the student can successfully transition to the next few stages. And so we demystify math. We make math easy to understand. And we build confidence in the student. And when a student is confident, there's no telling what they can achieve. Being a great student means you're very dedicated, which is only gonna serve you well in the future. It's also very important to sort of learn how to learn, learn how to work. Um, these are very valuable skills you, you'll use for the rest of your life and because of that, being a great student is really important to me and I think it is to most people at Hudson.